Let's unfold the UVs on a body. One very cool way of unfolding UVs is to temporarily disconnect edges where you want the seams to be located. This is done by first creating the edge clusters, such as along the contour of the fingers or the front or back torso. With the cluster selected on the model toolbar under polymesh, we simply disconnect the edge components. Don't worry, we will weld them back together shortly. Now we can assign a unique UV projection. We'll keep this property editor open, lock it and open the texture editor by pressing Alt 7. By specifying an angle value in the property editor, UVs will be separated if the adjacent polygon's angle exceed that value. We'll increase it to 90 degrees, which means that only polys and sharp peaks and valleys will be separated. The other pieces are the ones we defined earlier. The smooth slider will reduce the angle value between polygon UVs, similar to when using the smooth tool for poly meshes to flatten the surface. This will reduce the number of UV pieces in the texture editor. All the leftover UV tiny bits can be reattached individually to any UVs with which they share a vertex. But first, let's make sure that the auto sync option is activated in the preferences. Now, every time we select UVs in the texture editor, the UV samples on the poly mesh in the 3D view will be updated. The first UVs we select belong to the tip of a finger. To reattach it or heal it, we'll simply do an island heal to picked operation and select the UVs to which we want to connect it. At least one of the target UVs must share a vertex with the UVs we are healing. Once we're done doing that, we should be left with most of the pieces we defined. The head and feet were unfolded by default since we haven't specified any seams. At any time you can modify UV subsets by applying any of the available subprojections, which will keep the result in the same UV dataset. Let's apply a cylindrical subprojection to properly unfold the head. The best fit option positions the texture support according to the average normal orientation of the UVs to avoid distortion of the texture. Since we don't want to create a texture seam in the middle of the face, we will rotate the texture support and the new UV position will be reflected in the texture editor. Let's do something similar with the feet and give them a planar subprojection from the top XZ plane. Since both feet will use the same texture area, we will overlap the UVs of one foot onto the other. First, I need to mirror the UVs of one foot and then move them on top of the other foot. It doesn't have to be perfectly aligned because we will use the match tool which will snap the selected UVs to the underlying unselected one. This tool works by proximity and has many options. Once all your UV pieces have been unfolded properly, it is a good practice to create clusters and name them properly. Although you can use the island selection tool to easily select them, if you decide to stitch or rather heal two UV islands together, 
then the individual selection will become more difficult if they don't exist as clusters. The shortcut key is Control L. There are a few ways you can access the clusters. First, in the texture editor by using the cluster selection filter. And second, via the scene explorer. And finally, you can also access them by clicking on the cluster button in the main control area. Now let's reconnect the edge clusters we had previously disconnected simply by selecting them and using the weld tool under the poly mesh tools. The texture editor now displays the UV edge highlights which basically shows which UV edges match together in case we need to heal them for texture continuity. There is a slider in the preferences that allows to change the thickness of the highlights.